Did you know that your daily habits could be the difference between just surviving and truly thriving? If you want to unlock your full potential and build a mind that's as unbreakable as steel, you need to do this. Make small, consistent changes every single day. Sounds simple, right? But here's the kicker. These micro habits are the secret weapons that top performers use to dominate in life, business, and relationships. Avoid the mistake of thinking that success comes from big dramatic actions. It's the small shifts in your routine, the things you do every day, that shape who you become. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some powerful strategies that will help you build an unbeatable mind, a warrior's mindset, and turn every obstacle into an opportunity for growth. So, stick around because what you'll learn here could be the best advice you've ever heard. Let's dive in. Number one, mastering rejection. Focus on growth, not control. Happiness is fleeting when everything seems to go your way. The promotion, the perfect relationship, or the accolades you've worked so hard for. It's like standing on a peak, feeling invincible, basking in the glow of success. Yet, life isn't a perpetual summit. Rejection lurks around every corner, uninvited, catching you off guard. It feels like a dagger to the heart, shattering your confidence. But here's the thing. Rejection isn't the end. It's the beginning of a new kind of strength. When rejection strikes, it's easy to spiral. The sting of not being good enough clouds your vision, making you question your worth. But what if you saw rejection not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity? Every no can teach you something. When failure rears its head, shift your focus. Don't dwell on their reasons for rejecting you. Zero in on your growth. Their opinions are external noise, but your effort is internal power. Instead of fearing rejection, embrace it. Let it be your teacher, your motivator, your guide to self-mastery. Think back to your younger self when rejection felt insurmountable. Maybe it was that school dance when your crush turned you down, or the dream job that slipped through your fingers. Remember how painful it felt, how the world seemed to close in on you. Yet here you are, standing taller, having survived those moments. Nostalgia reminds us that the wounds of rejection heal, often leaving behind lessons that reshape us. Now ask yourself, how could you respond differently? Imagine turning rejection into a challenge, a reason to level up, to grow stronger. What if the next rejection became a doorway to mastering your inner resilience? Curiosity should lead you to question what's the next step in becoming unshakable? What lies beyond the initial sting of rejection? Number two, turning ideas into action, overcoming inertia. Imagine the spark of inspiration, a sudden idea that ignites your imagination. For a moment, it feels like the world is at your feet. Maybe it's a business concept, an art piece, or a fitness goal. You're filled with energy, ready to conquer. But then, hesitation creeps in. The more you think about it, the heavier it feels. Doubts whisper, what if I fail? What if it's not perfect? Before you know it, that vibrant idea fades into the background, lost to the noise of everyday life. Here's the brutal truth ideas without action are meaningless. The sharpest sword left in its sheath is useless. The world doesn't reward those who think about doing, it rewards those who do. Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus didn't just think great thoughts, they acted on them. Marcus led armies, Seneca built wealth and Epictetus taught students who would change the world. They understood that wisdom only matters when it's lived. Think back to a time when you had a great idea but never acted on it. Maybe it was starting a blog, launching a side hustle, or even just reaching out to someone you admire. That idea stayed locked inside, gathering dust. Looking back, you realize that waiting for the perfect moment was the greatest mistake. 
nostalgia has a way of highlighting the cost of inaction, showing us opportunities lost. Now what if you changed the script? Imagine a world where you took one small action within two minutes of having an idea. What doors could that open? Curiosity beckons. What could your life look like if every thought was paired with decisive action? What's stopping you from starting now? Number three, the power of fun, fuel for strength and resilience. Picture your happiest moments, not the achievements or the milestones, but the pure, simple joys, laughing uncontrollably with friends, playing a silly game, dancing when no one's watching. These are the moments when life feels light, effortless, and full of possibility. They're not distractions from life, they're the essence of it. Modern life tricks us into thinking that constant seriousness equals success. The grind, the hustle, the endless to-do lists, it's all sold as the only way forward. But here's a secret even the strongest warriors knew the value of fun. The Stoics weren't joyless philosophers. Marcus Aurelius, while carrying the weight of an empire, spoke about the importance of being joyful and at ease. Fun isn't the enemy of productivity, it's its secret weapon. Think back to the last time you truly let loose. Maybe it was a family gathering, a night out with friends, or a spontaneous moment of laughter. Those memories stick with you because they're reminders of what it feels like to be alive. Nostalgia tells us that life's most meaningful moments aren't always about work or accomplishments. They're about connection, joy, and being present. Now, consider this. What if you made fun a priority, as essential as your work or workouts? Imagine the ripple effects on your creativity, energy, and resilience. Curiosity nudges you to explore how could play transform your life. What would happen if you balanced intensity with joy, just like the strongest oak bends with the wind but never breaks? Number four, gratitude as a daily practice. Shaping a warrior. Mindset, happiness blooms in the simplest moments. A warm cup of coffee in the morning, the laughter of a loved one, the touch of sunlight on your face. These moments, though fleeting, anchor us to the present and remind us of the richness of life. Gratitude transforms these fragments into profound experiences, shifting your perspective from scarcity to abundance. It's not just a feel-good concept. Gratitude is a warrior's weapon sharpening your focus and fortifying your resilience against the battles of life. In the chaos of modern living, gratitude often takes a back seat. It's easy to be consumed by what's missing, by desires unfulfilled or goals unmet. But when you consciously practice gratitude, you redirect your energy. Each thank you is an affirmation of strength, a recognition of what you have rather than what you lack. This mindset doesn't just make you feel good, it changes how you approach challenges. A grateful warrior doesn't view obstacles as insurmountable, but as opportunities to grow and conquer. Think back to a time when life felt overwhelming. Maybe it was during a financial struggle or a tough breakup, yet even in those moments, there were glimmers of hope, a friend who offered support, a roof over your head, or even the strength to keep going. Nostalgia for those moments reminds us that gratitude is not about perfection, it's about perspective. It's in those dark hours that the light of gratitude shines brightest, guiding you through the storm. Now imagine waking up each day and listing three things you're grateful for. How would that shift your focus? What if you started seeing the good even in life's trials? Curiosity nudges you to explore how can daily gratitude rituals strengthen your mind and prepare you for life's battles. What would happen if gratitude became your foundation for building a warrior's mindset? Number five, breaking the barrier between thought and reality. Have you ever caught yourself daydreaming about the perfect life? Maybe it's the career you've always wanted, a thriving relationship, or the health goals you keep putting off. 
In your mind, these visions are crystal clear, vibrant and within reach. For a moment, you feel the surge of motivation, the belief that it's all possible. But then reality snaps you back. A barrier of doubt, procrastination and fear keeps you stuck. Breaking this barrier isn't just about action, it's about aligning thought with reality. Your mind is a powerful tool, capable of imagining worlds and solving problems. Yet, it's also a battlefield where self-doubt and fear wage war. When you think of success but don't act, you create a gap between your potential and your reality. The key is integration, bridging the space between what you envision and what you do. This alignment transforms ideas into realities, turning passive dreams into active pursuits. Reflect on a moment when you broke through this barrier. Maybe it was asking for a raise at work, starting a new hobby, or reaching out to someone after years of silence. That leap of faith wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Nostalgia reminds us that the most significant changes in life come from the courage to act, even when fear tries to hold you back. What if you stopped overthinking and started building bridges between your thoughts and actions? How would your life transform if every idea was paired with bold movement? Curiosity stirs, urging you to ask how can you harness the power of thought to reshape your reality? What tools and strategies can make this integration seamless? Number 6. Balancing intensity with joy. The warrior's secret weapon. Picture a warrior charging into battle, fierce, focused and unstoppable. Now imagine that same warrior later that evening laughing with comrades around a fire, finding solace in shared joy. True strength isn't about unrelenting intensity, it's about balance. The greatest warriors understand that life requires both grit and grace, effort and ease. Balancing intensity with joy isn't just a strategy, it's a secret weapon for living a resilient and fulfilled life. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to lean too far into intensity. Deadlines, goals and the constant push for more can leave you burned out and disconnected. But joy is what replenishes your spirit recharges your energy and reminds you why you fight in the first place. Without joy, intensity becomes unsustainable. Without intensity, joy feels hollow. The balance is where the magic happens. Think back to the last time you were fully immersed in joy. Maybe it was a family game night, a spontaneous road trip, or simply watching the sunset. Those moments of lightness didn't just feel good, they reminded you of the beauty of being alive. Nostalgia for those memories shows that life isn't just about the grind, it's about savoring the journey. Now, consider this. What if you schedule joy into your life with the same intensity you plan your work? What if you viewed play as essential as productivity? Curiosity invites you to explore how could this balance transform your mindset, your energy, and your approach to challenges. What new heights could you reach by embracing both the fire and the light? Number 7. Building an unbeatable mind through microhabits. Imagine standing at the base of a mountain, its peak obscured by clouds. The climb seems impossible, the distance overwhelming, but then you take a single step and another. Each small movement brings you closer to the summit. This is the power of micro-habits. Small, consistent actions have the potential to build an unbeatable mind, one that doesn't waver in the face of adversity, but rises with unwavering determination. An unbeatable mind isn't forged overnight. It's not the result of grand gestures or monumental changes. It's built in the small, intentional decisions you make daily brushing your teeth while practicing affirmations, taking a 10-minute walk, or writing down three wins each day. These micro-habits seem trivial, but they compound over time, creating a foundation of mental toughness and resilience. 
Think about a time when a small change made a big difference. Maybe it was setting your alarm 10 minutes earlier, drinking an extra glass of water each day, or writing a single sentence in a journal. Over time, those tiny shifts added up, creating momentum. Nostalgia for those moments reminds us that even the smallest actions can spark profound transformations. Now, imagine designing your life around micro-habits that align with your goals. How would your mind evolve? What if each day brought you closer to the person you want to become, not through giant leaps, but through steady, intentional steps? Curiosity sparks what micro-habits could you start today to begin building an unbeatable mind? What would your life look like a year from now if you committed to these small changes? As we wrap up this journey through mastering rejection, turning ideas into action, and building an unbeatable mind, remember this true transformation doesn't come from wishful thinking, it comes from action. The habits, gratitude and mindset shifts we've explored today are your tools to craft a life of resilience, strength and joy. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a step closer to the life you've envisioned. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the elite few who commit to finishing what they start. And if you're ready to keep evolving, growing and taking charge of your destiny. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join this incredible community. Your journey to greatness begins here.